Encoding refers to the process of transforming thoughts, feelings, or perceptions into enduring mental structures in long-term memory. Long-term memory is divided into two broad subtypes, explicit memory and implicit memory. Explicit memory, also called declarative memory, is stored information that can be consciously retrieved. For example, knowing that a golden retriever is a type of dog. This type of explicit memory for facts is called semantic memory, in which a network of associated concepts makes up a person's knowledge of the world. Explicit memory for personal experiences is called episodic memory, which is a collection of personal experiences that we can consciously recall. Semantic and episodic memory work together to form explicit memories. For example, remembering the results of the last presidential election would be the semantic component, while remembering how that event made you feel is the episodic component. Implicit memory refers to memory for behaviors that people learn and retrieve without conscious awareness. There are two types of implicit memory, procedural memory and priming. Procedural memory involves the acquisition of skills, like knowing how to ride a bike, drive a car, or play piano. One of the reasons it's difficult to explain to others how to ride a bicycle is because most of this skill takes place automatically, outside of awareness. And while practice tasks like that can generally be performed with relatively little conscious attention, Priming refers to the non-conscious memory effect in which exposure to a cue influences the activation or recall of words, objects, or ideas. For example, people exposed to the word yellow and then asked to name a fruit are more likely to say banana than orange or apple. This occurs because the word yellow activates the memory of words and objects associated with that color. Creating explicit memories, those stored facts and experiences, typically requires effortful processing strategies. One strategy is maintenance rehearsal, the process of keeping information active in short-term memory through mental repetition. For example, remembering a seven-digit phone number for a few seconds by repeating it. Elaborative rehearsal, sometimes called semantic encoding, is the process of actively enhancing stored information with related information. For example, when people are asked to pay attention to word meanings, they typically memorize words more easily than when asked to pay attention to the letters of the words. Chunking involves combining small pieces of information to form larger units. For example, it's difficult to simply memorize the correct order of operations for solving equations. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. It's easier to remember the first letter of each operation when it's converted into a simple sentence, like please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or purple elephants may destroy a school. In this way, chunking is also a mnemonic. Techniques that enhance learning and retrieval. But what if you need to remember a semester's worth of material, and not just a few facts? Distributed practice involves learning sessions spread out over time, usually with significant breaks between sessions, like spreading studying over the course of a semester. Massed practice involves continuous learning sessions with no rest breaks, like cramming for an exam. Numerous studies show that distributed practice leads to longer lasting memories than massed practice, even when students invest the same number of hours in each strategy.